all right everybody welcome to your 16th wordpress theme development tutorial my name is mehul and this would be a quick tutorial on how to fix a bunch of stuff which we left in the last tutorial and i don't know why i just left that pretty much so anyways what we are left with is that we are actually left with a non-working sort of form right now which just sort of accepts a text field but actually doesn't even stores that or you know notifies you that there's some sort of update going on in the database and it kind of sucks right now actually because it's not properly connecting to my mysql and database so i'm just gonna restart my server and see if it works yeah pretty much so save this you can see that nothing happens so to fix that what I'm gonna do instead is hop over to this admin.php in template static and add an action which we left later to options.php and the reason is that WordPress you know commands you to direct all of the form fields and the forms to options.php and from options.php onwards actually WordPress takes care of your stuff so if I just go to like WP and, and options.php you can see that pretty much this is not the file which we want but actually the options.php which would be sort of in WP admin so we need to go to WP admin instead WP admin and then options.php so you can see that uh, right here it's sort of like storing some sort of stuff and if you just pay a little bit of attention you could see that uh, it has some redirecting options which would just allow the user or notify the user to say that uh, you're actually your settings are saved or they are not saved and stuff like you are not allowed to manage these items or cheating a I don't know what this when this would appear you can just see from the if statement that if current user can capability is the capability which we added right here in the manage options right there so might be some sort of stuff so you can see that pretty much options.php does its job and would probably this work pretty fine and uh, the next thing you can do is actually right here you can say that pretext is actually get option and right here I'm gonna say this is my black box which is the same name as the input type name and you could pretty much pen that in value pretext right there here you go reload and right like a number or something and as you can see it pretty much stores the number now because we have pretty much got it in the input text field and uh, another thing which you can do is because right now if you just you know kind of add something and save it doesn't actually tells the user whether their action was successful or not well it kind of looks successful to us but if you have like some a lot of fields on the screen then you want to list down the errors so to do that what you can do is instead add a settings I'll leave it like that so if you reload this now and uh, I guess this would be errors then reload save you can see that we get settings saved pretty cool now this function would pretty much just is handled by options.php and would display the result sent by options.php and that's how pretty much it works so 
that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'll just show you how to implement this text on your live website right here instead of this static text so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching